Tommy. Not dead man been chatting about you, my dear. Thought you might need something to make you feel better. So Auntie Pule make you some stew, eh? Come and check me kitchen sometime, okay, Tommy? Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now you do all Auntie Pulea turn, and maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the llama and the stink eye. Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, I, I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The nasty, proud foo-foos. Mm. Been making my boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Pule. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Chump. What do you wait? Don't you get arrested? Hey, mister, I'm married. Look at the finger. It has a ring. I've got children for Pete's sake. Stop eyeing me up. And with your eyes. Well, I tell you, I was a cheerleader and nearly a prom queen. And I could have married anyone, but I chose John. I chose him because he had a kind face and a rich dad. I didn't know he was going to cheat on me or embarrass me. I didn't know. But I won't be made a fool of. I've got the children. Okay, Jan. It's okay. Men are idiots. Ask my ex-wife. <laughs> Don't worry. But I am a little worried about you. How are the children? Do they enjoy school? Of course they do! That's precisely why I'm going to start homeschooling my children. High school is a cult. There's a group of savages that rule the roost and get all the girls and everyone else is picked on and abused. It happened to me and look at me. 